Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tylerius aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. All right. So in this video, I'm going to be explaining everything you need to know about the gun running bunker business raids. Okay, how they work, how you can avoid them, all that good stuff. And luckily, the bunker raids are probably the easiest to understand and avoid. Uh, probably just as easy, if not even easier to understand and manage as the CEO crate business raids. Yes, they can be rated as well. And I'll have a video on that when we get CEO crate double money again. So in about a year. Uh, anyways, though, so yeah, man, it's real simple. It's in a long video. It's very easy to understand. Uh, and the good thing is, is that the bunker raids do not happen often. I, I don't even have any footage. The last time I got raided, I believe I was on stream and uh, it was a while ago. The years that we've had the bunker business, I think I've only been raided three times, maybe four at the most. So it is a rare occurrence, but it does happen. All right, let's get right into it. So what triggers a bunker business raid? It's very simple. Once your stock reaches 50% value, the timer kicks in. Okay, now the timer, just like all the other businesses, is dictated by two different things. Your AFK time and whether or not you have security. Okay, now as soon as your stock hits 50%, the raid timer will start. The only thing that will delay the raid timer is if you're doing missions or free mode activities and things like that. So, as soon as you're done with that mission, the timer kicks back in. Now, if you do have security, that raid timer will not trigger a raid until you have 10 hours of AFK time built up. And the, the AFK time is concurrent. So, if you spend 9 hours AFK one day with your inventory at 50% or more, the next day you jump on, you know, say you do a mission, it just delays that timer, right? And then you jump on the next day, after an hour, you're going to get raided. So that time will just keep adding on until that raid happens. All right. It's very, very simple. Now, if you do not have security upgrades, your AFK timer is only five hours. But still, five hours, that's pretty good. Okay. That's why, you know, I always recommend that when you do the upgrades, always get equipment and staff first and then you get your security last but security is needed no matter what anybody says okay trust me you do want to have that extra five hours all right so with knowing this information it's very manageable to avoid a bunker business raid now we know how the sales work we know that the money is not compounded so you could sell uh, low amounts of bunker you know uh, income or a full bunker and it's going to be you know the same either way so as long as you are selling before you hit that 50% marker, which is what you want to do anyways, especially if you are a solo player, to make sure you only get one or two vehicles, you'll never have to worry about raids ever, ever, okay? It's only once you hit that 50% value, uh, the raid timer starts. So knowing this, I mean, that, that's why a lot of people don't even know that you can get raided with the bunker business because you can completely avoid the raids totally just simply, you know, either buying supplies, uh, you know, one round and then selling it afterwards or stealing a few rounds and then selling it after it gets completed. Because until you hit that 50% mark of value, the raid timer never kicks in. So I, I guess what you could say is that you, you could totally avoid you know, bunker business raids. You could play GTA for the rest of its time online and never get raided if you follow that rule. As long as you sell before your stock hits 50% value, you will never see a raid. But you have to understand once you hit that 50% value, your raid timer kicks in. All right. It's five hours without security upgrades and 10 hours with security upgrades. And once that 50% stock hits, that raid timer will never go away. It just gets delayed or slowed down by your activity, uh, you know, doing work, right? Doing uh, missions or free mode or whatever, stuff like that, okay? Now, if you do get raided, this is what happens. If you fail, you will lose inventory. It is a big deal. You do lose uh, products, so you have to, you know, understand that. Now, again, I've only been raided a few times but the raids are similar to the other businesses whereas a gang will come and steal your stuff and you have to go fight and get it back the most recent raid i was on i had a delivery truck that was stolen and there was bombs attached to it. i had to defuse the bombs while fighting off the gangsters 
right? And it can be intense. And if you fail these raids, you do stand the chance of losing your product and your supplies. So it is a big deal, okay? Uh, however, if you are getting raided and you feel like you can't take care of it, you can just find a new session. You don't have to close app. Just find a new session. You'll be okay. And remember, you don't get raided unless you are registered as a CEO or a MC, okay? So again, this is all very, very simple. I hope this helps out. Let me just give you a quick summary. Your bunker business can be raided. Once you hit 50% stock, the timer starts. Five hours without security, 10 hours with security. You can delay by doing missions and things like that, or you can never even get raided as long as you sell before you hit that 50%. Uh, value. If you feel you can't handle the raid, just find new session and you'll be good to go. You cannot get raided unless you're registered as an MC or a CEO. Easy, right? Easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl. So guys, listen, I really hope this works. I hope this helps out. Uh, make a lot of money this week. Bunker is double money. So I hope triple money. We, we should have you. We should have triple money. Damn you, Rockstar. Anyways, again, I digress. So thank you guys so much for coming out of the video. I hope this helps out. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the Ills and Reels content in the game. Make sure you turn on notifications. You guys, become a member. We're getting uh, closer to that goal that I have with my membership. So once we hit that goal, we will be doing member-only live streams, okay? Uh, so everyone will be able to watch, but just members will be able to uh, comment and things like that. And then soon we'll do live streams where it's just uh, members only. So, you know, I, we can hang out and talk and chill and stuff like that. I think that's really important to reward you guys for showing the extra support. So uh, definitely keep that in mind. Level five memberships and above will have access to the chat once these go live. Again, everyone will be able to watch. Uh, and then we'll do certain, we'll do some live streams where it's only going to be members. So we're getting closer. Make sure you guys become a member on my channel. The link is in the description down below. All right. Uh, it's just like Twitch. It's just a, it's a monthly subscription, you guys. And then you know, I try and give you some extra perks and things like that. So once we get to, we're getting closer. We're almost there. And once we get there, I'll let you guys know. And we'll, we'll, have, we'll start having some fun with those, man. So I just want to try and give back to you guys as best I can. So thank you all so very much for coming out of the video, all right? I really do appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Yeah.